Members of Algoma's longest running art association regularly meet to exchange ideas in a group setting while they're working on their individual composition. So Eileen, why is this a good opportunity for artists to come together? It gives you the opportunity to meet other artists and also to see what they're doing. And by seeing what they're doing, you can feed off each other for ideas, you know, and you might not exactly do what they're doing, but you might be inspired to do something similar or, you know, run with what they inspired you to do. This is just one of the opportunities that the Art Society has. What are some of the other opportunities coming up? We're, um, if you're a member of the Algom Art Society, uh, you get to go, to, we, we have different shows during the year. Our next show is in October. It's a pre-Christmas show, and it's on the 21st and 22nd of October, um, and it's going to be at Station Mall. So if anybody wants to get some really nice art, original art, um, that's a, a good chance to, you know, get, get that then. And um, our, our Christmas sale will be down here at the John Rhodes on the 5th of December. So Warren, as a new member of the Art Society, what do you like about um, membership here? Well, I like the camaraderie, um, getting together, meeting up with people with a like mind, uh, seeing all the different styles of painting, and it gives me a chance to uh, get the creative juices going a little bit on an ongoing basis. What medium are you working on? What are you currently working on today? I'm working in acrylic today. I've been working in acrylic now for almost 40 years. And uh, I really like it because for me, I'm a very impatient type of painter. And I, I, I like to be able to get right down and do the work and have, be able to go back and do it all over again if I happen to make mistakes. Nor Ann, can you describe your artwork for us? Because it is rather unique. Yes. The encaustic art was done by the first by the Egyptians and then into the Greeks. And it's supposed to be the most permanent medium that was ever used, like the oils and everything that was used way back have been uh, cracking and they've had to re restore them, whereas the encaustics have held on for years. So I decided to play around with that medium and I really, really like it. It's not the only medium I used, but I find that it, it, it's fun when you do the loose style and you can, you can get into the, the more realistic with, with the different techniques. And this is a type of wax? Yes, it, it's a special wax though. It has resin, it's a beeswax base, and that's very important because beeswax versus paraffin. Paraffin's very stiff, whereas the beeswax is, is, is softer wax. So there's beeswax and there's res resin, and there's, and there's uh, the color is put in there. Yeah, I had uh, retired about a year and a half, two years ago, and um, I had a void then because I had always worked my whole life, almost 40 years. It was like work was everything and family, and then uh, I had, had all this time, and um, I s suddenly decided that I wanted to play a little bit. So art was the thing that came to uh, my mind, and uh, I started out with taking a few classes in um, oil painting, and then... Um, a little bit more. I did a little bit. I tried this and that, and then I came into the Agoma Art Society, and now I use all mediums uh, because it's something that uh, every time I come here, somebody gives me an idea or an inspiration or something, or talks about what they're doing, and you think. I could incorporate that into what I'm doing, you know. So yeah, I really enjoyed it, uh, and I, I will probably keep on doing it till I can't do it anymore, you know. And I and I'll probably even find ways after that to do it if I can. Yeah. And I'm doing pastels today, and uh, I enjoy doing pastels because I can get my fingers, as you see, into the into the painting. So it's really enjoyable. And how long have you been a working artist? I started when I was about uh, seven or eight years old, and I entered the Paris Fall Fair in Southern Ontario, and I. Uh, one first place with my Frankenstein art, so I <laughs> did really well. <laughs> for more information on the Algoma Art Society, you can visit their website. For Shaw TV, I'm Ann Gordonaire.